Welcome back guys, Slow Bacon here, time for today's multiplayer battle. So I have had a chance to play a few battles today, I think we've played three, yeah, three so far. Um, all against Bretonia for some odd reason, not really sure why, but um, we've managed to win all three. Um, they haven't been the standard peasant um, army, I've got obviously the, the base of them has been peasants, but there's been a lot of cavalry. Um, and the last one we fought, the lords were all on foot, which was a bit different. So that's, it's nice to see different builds. Oh, we're going to have Bretonia again. We'll see. We'll see if he changes. Uh, I got the dwarfs. All right, we'll bring our dwarf army. I don't know about this one whether it's actually worth the extra cost or not for this, but I don't know. we'll see. Seems to be going pretty well so far. So, of course, the advantage of this one is we didn't really see it in the last matchup we played with the dwarfs. But the advantage of this is, of course, it uh, reduces the accuracy and stuff of whatever firing at. So, my thinking behind that one was, of course. Um, if I can limit the amount of damage their artillery can do to mine, I should be able to win that, right? <laughs> that, that, that's my thinking. Doesn't, well, like I say, I've only done it one battle with it, so we'll see if it actually works out or not. This is actually the second time I've had this map today. I don't really like this map. It's too confined, which isn't going to be great when trying to fight the dwarfs, although we do have a pretty, pretty strong infantry line, don't we, with our um, Black Orcs there and our ranked up Black Orcs. We'll see. We are starting on the better end, which is the opener end. Uh, it's quite tightly packed in there, which is actually... Oh, that, that might not be a good thing, actually. That probably favours him, right? If we're tightly packed in there, since he is the dwarf, after all. Hmm. I think that actually favours him, now that I'm thinking about it a bit more in-depth. We'll see what he brings. It is kind of just like a shooting gallery. I'm trying to run down these parts. I wonder if I should hide off to the sides a bit. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see how many numbers he's got. If he's got real low numbers, then maybe we will, because that'll indicate that he is bringing um, a lot of artillery, which kind of nullifies our artillery, though, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll see what he brings. See what he brings. How many numbers have we got? 863. So that tells me it's a lower tier army with a lot of runesmiths. That's what I'm getting from that. So if that's the case, we'll run straight up the middle. So our infantry should be better than his infantry. Although I would really like to be um, a bit more spread out than that, wouldn't I? Just in case he does. Bring I tell you, have I covered all of that? Yes. Right, Skookies, can you hide up in the trees somewhere? I'll tell you, Kent. Okay. So we have to bring them around there, of course. Two. Put these guys with this line. Like I say, I really would like to spread this line out, but maybe I pull one of these units off. And spread the rest of these out, just in case he does have that artillery. It's still too much though, really, isn't it? Okay. Sneak over here with another one of these then, maybe? Keep him in the centre though. Uh, oops, he's from that one over there. Oh, come on, spread out as much as we can. Yep, I think that's good. Alright. Jeez, it doesn't give me a lot in the centre though, does it? Alright, so him plus him. Can kind of go down that flank a bit. And then he can go down this side. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, oh, Jesus, that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> right, you can go in there. Right, we've got a bit of magic to play with. Let's get going. Hopefully that'll at least force him to um, uh, range out his guys a bit. What's he got for artillery? Just the bolt throw. Okay, actually shoot into this giant cluster. Would you, please? Where's his lord? Hiding in there. Okay, what have we got? Grom. Oh, Grommy. Definitely go and get all that. Right, we're going to try and avoid as much of this um, archery fire as we can. Assuming he's got more than just the one. Come on, can I get onto Grom? There we go. Yep, there comes some more. 
Right, you guys start moving up. Right, that went off. Good, good. I'm not going to attack his artillery because that'll actually weaken me quite a bit. It's only got warriors protecting that, actually. Um, keep going, then. It's good, it's good. Up to there is fine. I can get him to push forward a wee bit more actually. I need to move these Black Hawks forward. Come on, keep moving. Right, we are taking out his high unit there of the Grumbling Guard, which is good. He is moving all his forces forward, which again is good. If we can come in here and get like a surround on. I'll get those guys to go straight for his, um, straight for his rock lover. Right, let's go, lads. You can come in this way. Thank you. You can come in this way. You guys get around there. And get onto that. Please. Oh, I didn't cast it. Alright, running please, lads. I'm going to get back over here and give these guys a bit of support. You guys need to be running too. Where's this boy, that one there? Where is he? Uh, in there somewhere. Alright, rock lover onto that. Oh my god, why are these black hawks all walking? Break that off, because these guys are walking way too slow. There we go. Where's Grom? In there. Oh, jeez, I didn't see those. Get on top of those iron drakes if we can, please. Bring these guys in this way. Right, these Black Hawks are one in the centre. That's good. Take out that Grumbling Guard, please. I think we've got this right. We've got too much damage coming in. Oh, that wasn't meant for you. You've got a good surround on that side. Grom is not going down that fast, but I wouldn't expect him to. Way too much stuff over there on the Black Ops. Can you come in on this, please? Get those Iron Drakes. They're just roasting us. Um, okay, I need my Lord. Where is he? Come in and get these guys, please. Right, pull one of these off now. You can come and attack that. Pulling his lords out, that's definitely not the fight that I want to take. Get out of there, please. Was that a mistake? Maybe. Oh, yes, look how much damage he took. Jesus. Right, he's out anyway. Good, good. Right, buffs. And some damage there on Grommy. Right, good. Broken through there. Let's push. 
you can actually take out Grom, that'd be great. These guys. Kill that off. Still fighting there against the Dwarf Warriors. Alright, bring this lore back over as well. Out of there, please. Alright, Rock Lover, what are you shooting at? No idea. Nothing. Can you stop? Oh, these guys need potions. Alright, go over there and tack onto that. Now, can you get onto Grom as well, please? Actually, finish that off. Okay. That's broken. And then you just landed for no apparent reason. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right, we've got that. Well, who was that that took that big hit? This guy. Right, come on. I don't know what the hell he was doing. Get out of there. Right, that guy broke on that side. Good, good. Right, yeah, we got this. Grom's broken. Nice. Who's left there? The Slars. Yeah, well, Slars won't break. We have to kill them. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That was a wee bit messy by me, I have to say. Um, but obviously we did manage to pull out that one. How much kills did... Oh, they only got six. Okay. I thought they would have maybe got a bit more than that. Oh, the Slayers did all right. Where was that? That, that was the one we were attacking with our um, artillery, so we managed to kill that off pretty good. I only got 14 kills. Grom picked up 36. We were a bit... I was a bit um, over-eager there, I think, with Azag, trying to dive in there and kill some things off, but of course the Blackhawks did very, very well. This was, of course, his focus. Uh, for that, 38, 39, good. Awesome. All right, guys, so that is today's multiplayer video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.